volume of a cylinder and the surface area of the box. All pretty much grade C type stuff. Now the volume of a cylinder, we're not told the formula for volume of the cylinder, but we work it out the same way as we would for a prism, even though it's not a prism, but if we work out the area of the end and we times by its height we get its volume. So the area of the end is going to be pi times the radius squared, so time phi, pi times 5 squared, which is 25 pi. The height is 12, so the volume is going to be 12 lots of 25 pi. Now you can work all that out on the calculator um, in decimals, but quite often it's better to just leave it in the calculator. So 12 times 25 pi is 300 pi. And you would get full marks for writing 300 pi there, so long as you state the units of your answer, which is an extra mark, which is centimeters cube because it's volume. You can change that to a decimal and you get 4942.4777961 but there's no real point that's more accurate than changing it to a decimal. Okay, part B. Just going to zoom this in a little bit. So we've got a bit bigger shape. Okay, 24 of these cans are fitted into a box. As shown, the box has a cuboid box is a cube and has six faces. So we want to work out the surface area of the box, we need to work out the area of each side. So first thing we need to do is work out the lengths of the sides. So um, the height, fairly straightforward, two cans high, one can is 12, so two cans is 24. Going this way, this length here, well across one of the cans is 10 centimeters because it's five centimeters from the center. The diameter is 10, so two of them will be 20 and three of them will be 30. And this way we've got four cans, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so to work out the volume, sorry, the, the surface area of this box, we need to work out the area of each end, uh, each side, and, and add it up. Now each side has a, has a pair on the other side, so we just work out one and double it. Um, so we've got, if we do the front side 30 times 24, and times that by 2, then if we do this side, that's going to be 40 times by 24 times that by 2. And then the top is going to be 40 by 30 and times that by 2. And we work those out, we get the following. So 30 times 24 times by 2. And it's a good idea to set your working out like this in separate parts in case you make a, a mistake it will minimize the amount of damage you do from the mistake and it takes a little bit of extra time rather than typing it all in one go but if you type it in one go and got it wrong that will cost you a lot of marks and then add them up 5760 so that's our service area for four marks.